Hello Daniel here and welcome to another one of my how-to videos. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can enable the Extreme Memory Profile or XMP Profile for short on a Gigabyte motherboard. The motherboard I'm running is the GA-A3200M-SH. Um, it's a 50-60 pound motherboard. It will work on other motherboards, other Gigabyte motherboards and other brands that support XMP memory profiles. Um, obviously you need to have the memory that supports it, so we're running some crucial, uh, crucial ballistics, DDR4 of 3200 or 3.2 GHz. Um, the XMP memory profile isn't enabled at the moment and it's defaulting down to uh, 2666 MHz or 2.6 GHz. And the, the CPU I'm running is the Ryzen 5 3600. Now, why would you want to enable extreme memory profiles? Well, with Ryzen CPUs, they benefit from higher memory speeds, and you'll notice, and especially in my experience, you'll notice the performance in gaming, and generally your PC will be quicker once you've enabled this um, XP profile to make your memory quick uh, a lot faster. So we're going to go from 2.6 to 3.2, basically. So how do we do this? Well we need to go into the BIOS so let's restart Windows first off so if you've just built your PC um, you should probably have this setup that I've got here it's all, all booted up start it's all st started and working you've got this default memory speed you're trying to work out how to increase it so we need to restart the machine again um, you need to make sure once you've enabled this you don't have any stability issues so if it's up and running okay then it should be alright like what I'm saying is if you've with the default memory profile it needs to be stable before you attempt this is what I'm saying don't attempt this while you've got problems before sort of thing right let's restart now we need to hit the Dell key for the gigabyte bias I'm running Windows 10 here so I just need to mash that basically as quick as possible because obviously we've got the NVMe storage and it's super quick at booting up so we're in the Gigabyte BIOS here, and just to say the model number is that one, A32M-SH, and the BIOS version I'm running is F50, and that's quite important as well, you may need to update your BIOS. Let's go to MIT, not sure what that means, but that's the tab we need, there's all sorts of settings on here. And when you build your machine, it is worth looking through some of these settings as well, just to get it how you need it to be. And the menu option we want here is advanced memory settings and as you can see the profile is disabled at the moment so the extreme memory profile or XMP is disabled and everything is uh, auto and it says the memory is currently running at 2667 megahertz so that is one megahertz higher than uh, task manager says but that's no problem so we've got a profile that we can just use without having to mess about it's just profile one basically on this and it will do a small um, CPU overclock as well on this particular profile I've noticed the CPU does boost up higher to 4.10 it may be different for your system they are they are all different this is just a, a general guide um, so obviously we've got the profile loaded and it's telling me that it's going to go to 3.2 so let's restart let's save and exit setup Yes. So we'll let Windows 10 boot back up and then we'll check Task Manager. And it may be worth you doing some testing before and after just to see how, m how many frames per second you get. Um, that was a bit, a bit too much beep in there. You have to excuse the cable. The cables, there's so many cables, I need to tidy this up. But if you're looking at that and thinking, my god, this, this Look at that cable mess, yeah I know about it, it's on my to-do list. The problem is I've been uh, tinkering with uh, stuff inside, I haven't tied it all up yet. So let's just check this, we're going to go Task Manager, Performance and straight onto the Memory tab and as you can see that's now running at 3.2 GHz or 3200 MHz and the system is stable, I've been running it before I did this video I've been running it with the XMP memory profile, there's no problems at all with it. And the CPU is boosting up a little bit higher than it was. 
So there we go, that's how you enable Extreme Memory Profile on the Gigabyte motherboard. As, and as I said, it will work on other motherboards and it will work on other versions, but that, this is my version. That's how it is, so hopefully this video helps and if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.